nanotechnology deals with anything that has at least one dimension that is best measured with nanometers. 3.5 gold atoms are one nanometer. When objects are this small, they have some strange effects and quantum mechanics best describes how they function. In quantum mechanics, particles can, with a very small probability, tunnel to the other side of a barrier without actually passing through the barrier. A representation of this is many objects hitting a hill. Here, an object could, in a sense, borrow energy from the other objects to tunnel through the wall or roll over the hill, paying the other objects back by, ref by the reflected objects being more energetic than they otherwise would have been. Tunneling occurs because there is a potential energy stored in the system, and because of the probabilistic nature of quantum physics, the potential energy can be used and not used, which is why only a certain range of percents of electrons can be observed to tunnel through short distances. This effect can only be observed when the diameter of the material is near the wavelength of the particle traveling. This occurs in no time, and in some cases it arrives before it has left if it is a zero spin particle like some photons and electrons. Because tunneling relies on potential energy wells or the potential energy of the system, bulk materials do not allow tunneling and small groups of atoms do. This can be shown by looking at the probability density of an electron. The electrons in bulk materials are generally closer to the core than as they would be with individual atoms. This causes a decrease in potential energy and an increase in the kinetic energy of the electrons. Tunneling can be used to make objects that are extremely conductive, like magnetic tunnel junctions, which are two ferromagnets separated by a thin insulator that is only a few nanometers thick. Electrons tunnel from one ferromagnet to the other at very high rates. Another property of nanoparticles is band gap increase. Band gap is the energy level needed for an electron to cross the valence band of an object to the conduction band of another object. Band gap increases when the object is on the nanoscale due to the diameter of the material being too close to the wavelength of the particle's Broglie wavelength. The de Broglie hypothesis says that all matter can act as a wave with a certain momentum and wavelength. This increase in band gap causes the material to have a blue shift for the light emitted when subject to a light source because of the increase in energy needed to cross this band gap. Band gap increase is responsible for making nanoparticles not as conductive as they would be on the bulk scale. This band gap increase makes conductive materials semiconductors and semiconductors into insulators and it makes insulators even better insulators. These two properties of nanomaterials seem inconsistent. One way to explain why tunneling makes nanoparticles extremely conductive while band gap decreases their conductive abilities is because tunneling works very well with pure materials because the electrons can ignore the energy difference they have to travel here on the other side. Impurities in the materials significantly reduce this kind of thing. The coating on nanomaterials, which prevents the particles from sticking to each other, are responsible for the prevalence of band gap increase when the particle size decreases.